When I asked all you viewers a while ago what you wanted me to do for some videos, you said just project builds and whatever I'm working on or doing in the shop. So this is kind of both of those things. I'm working on some haunched tenons, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And if you don't know what that is, it's a tenon that has a little notch in it like so, so that that remaining piece can fill in the dado when you're making like a web frame, for example, like that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. This is actually for a web frame for a drawer for a hope chest that my buddy is actually making for his daughter. It was supposed to be for a Christmas present, but he wasn't able to be here enough times to work on it. So it's gonna be sometime this year that she gets it, but she knows about it. So I can start to make some videos about it now, but let me show you how to make a haunch tenon. The first step that I've already bypassed and not shown you is making the dado in the actual railer style. And that was done by setting up a quarter inch dado in the dado stack, a quarter inch from the fence, and just basically running it through one way, flipping it and running it through again. And that gives you a perfectly centered dado. Now let's get on to making this tenon. So I've got a little bit of a stop block set up here so that you can put your workpiece up against it and using your uh, miter gauge with some sandpaper on it so your workpiece doesn't want to slide is a good tip that I got probably 15 years ago, but just make some passes. We've got this set up at a quarter of an inch high, so we'll make some passes to our shoulder line, which I have actually scribed on here with a marking gauge. So let's just get to it. So you're gonna be left with this arrangement right here, and then you can fit this using the router plane next. First thing we're gonna do is use the router plane to get this tenon down to the thickness that we need it to be to actually go into the uh, dado in the, the rail here. So it's just gonna work it down in little small increments. We'll just check it periodically as we go through this process as we work it down. Okay, so I've got that fitting into the dado in the one piece of the web frame. Now, in order to actually get that to go in all the way, because I've made the mortise inset about three eighths of an inch from the end, I need to actually cut that little notch or haunch onto the actual other piece. So let's do that next. I'm just using my ruler from the shoulder and going to 3 8 of an inch. And I set my marking gauge to that just so I can make another scribe line so that I know where I wanna actually cut that. Just in case there's a little bit of variability in the actual length of any of these haunches, I'm just gonna sneak up on it. So I'm gonna come in and make a little bit of a knife wall and then we'll cut that using the uh, handsaw here. And that's gonna be 3 eighths of an inch deep. So I probably cut that a little too much, but it's not the end of the world. So I just have to cut that haunch down just a little bit more so that we can close that gap. So we'll take off you know, a couple saw curves. It's a pretty fine blade on this Dezeki. Okay, and that's how you make a haunched tenon. Pretty simple. 
Until next time, go build something beautiful.